Hello customer. When you uh, have the D12 printer, you have the arrow message 3. Arrow 3, which means the bed finister has an issue, has a no, uh, no signal to the motherboard. So we need to check uh, where's the problem. Okay, so first we can move this cable a little bit to check if there's a connection issue. Now, still arrow, so we, we have to open it. To check first to turn off the printer now let me open again sometimes when you turn off and turn on the printer the arrow would be would fix but if not we need to readjust you check the temperature minus two for the bed so which means there's a problem with the thimister and I have our replacement thimister in hand if the connection has no issue, we have to replace the uh, thimister. So follow me. Turn off it. Okay. So put the print aside so we, we can. So now all the belts are off. From here we can unplug the the fence. So let's check the white one. Uh, this one. Oh, have you seen the connection of the semester is uh, off. So that's a that's a problem. We need to reinsert the the cable. Make sure I don't know how this could be fall out, but we we need to reinsert it. You see the purple one, invert it into the purple connector. Right here. Okay, show show the customer. Yeah. Come on. It's a little bit difficult. Yeah, but sure, we can do that. Okay. So, already inverted the thimister inside. So, now let's check the temperature. Put down the, the printer and Turn on the printer. Let's check the better temperature. <laughs> this collector, wow. So we have to reinvert this collector into the white collector uh, on the side. Let's put it, put it inside. Okay, so this one inverted. Let's check the temperature. All right, let's check the bed temperature. Okay, now it's lighting degree, not minus one or minus two. So this uh, this is uh, first way we fix it. Anyway, if the thimster is really broken, we have this uh, replacement, a thimster. Uh, mostly this could be broken and in the bubble. You see, there's a bubble, but it, unless you crash it, you push it too hard, it will break or it will never break. Okay, so I will show you how to replace this one. First, turn off the printer. And put it aside. So we can check if this simster is good or not. We Pull off this uh, already installed one and invert this one. Okay, so we can put, put this down. 
and reinvert and check. So now the bed temperature sensor is in my hand. Okay, 22, 23. Okay, my temperature is much higher, so it's going up. You see, 27. Okay, the sensor is working. So we need to install this one. Okay, in case your finister is broken, we need to replace it. Now, uh, let's do it. So, disassemble the back plate of the PSU. Okay, right here, the sinister here. So the old one is here, you don't have to take it off. Or if you really need, you can, uh, you still can, a can card it so you can pull this off but i don't want break it because it's uh, it's uh, intangible it's still working so first i invert this cable inside and i go i would go this new cable And you can twist this around it so it will it will inside okay so it goes to here all right goes to here so you will see this one is for the bed we have to get the a semester to go through this to go to the bed so we need to cut this off this is uh, uh, the thermal shrinking plastic. So we can take it off. We, we cannot use it later. All right, you see, we can, this can be opened. And now let's go to the top. We have to take off all the together. Now I turn to you. All right, here it is. Here it is. We can pull this off so so we can see. Yeah, go, 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 go a little bit more. We can track it. Don't worry, later we will use uh, a, a seal, a, the tape to fix it. So here, right, this is a, it's located here. You see? Usually this protection is very well, so it will not move. Yeah. You see, right here. So now we have this off. We have to invert this, go into, go inside this cable and get out here. So we can go to the same routing to replace this one. Okay, we have to cut this too. This one we have to cut. And after this, so the thermal protection uh, shrinking rubber can be taken off. Later, we, we can use the tape to seal it. Okay, so we, we now have to figure out how to get this through this, uh, a, this tube so it can go through. Or it will, it will be too ugly if we put this outside. So put it aside. All right. So you can see here, 
this is a white cable. If we pull this, this cable can be shrinked and go to very near you. Don't let this go out. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my God. I have to keep it. Okay, invert, invert, invert a little bit. So, so this is uh, like a spring. So I can see here, can you see? It's uh, here, right here, all right, okay. We, I, will, I will stick this side, this one to this side. So when I pull on this, it can go through the tube, go to here. So let's do it. Uh, we need to use a uh, little this speaker and stick the sti sticker to this uh, to here to the tube. So please handle with care so you won't break it. All right. Okay. We yeah. So the new one is here. It's uh, connected to the old one here. Now let me push, invert it inside, into the tube. And I can pull here. Pull. If it's too tight here, we have one tie here. It could it could, could jam the jam it. So you need to cut this tie too. Okay. And all right. So now let's pull, 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 pull. Okay. All right. After we pull this out from the other side, we cut this tape so we can get the new one, the new cable out of the tube. Okay. Wow, wow, success. Yeah, you see, we get the new tube out of it. Now we need to locate it. The new tube under the bed. Uh, to reserve something still under this uh, Kipton tape. And you can push it down. Down, down, okay. Yeah. Okay, like this way, and then you can cut the old one. Cut so the old one can be replaced. Okay, after this, yeah, you see the the spring tube still leave some tape to fix. I don't want this one to go loose. So I use a tape to stick it. And uh, if you have the binding cable, use this one to seal. Should be go go this way up all the way. Mm. Sorry, go this side to go down and this side twist it to go up and then we lock it. After locking, you cut the the end so will be exactly located there and this one you seal seal it 
and you can use the former sticker keep tan tape to to seal it make sure it's a touching the bay and don't push too hard to break the bob okay after this we use the sticker to seal all right we have uh, successfully replaced the old uh, old cable let's check if the temperature is working Let's invert the the cable. Okay, it's twenty degrees. So, uh, congratulations! You have uh, replaced the cable. Now you need to reinstall the bed and the back cover, uh, just like what we disassembled. Thank you for your watching.